se vidi. Trebali smo prije zatvoriti vrata pa da ljudi počnu ulaziti. Hvala vam svima što ste došli u ovom velikom broju podržati našeg bolika. Dakle, bolik, vjerujem da ga svi znate, je naš volonter koji nam se pridružio prije nekih godinu dana. Dolazi iz Poljske i dakle u skromu istječe njegovih godinu dana projekt Experience Nature preko Europske volonterske službe i on će nam danas predstaviti što uopće taj program je, kako mu je bilo, što je doživio i kako mu je bilo s nama u biomu. Pa evo, pustit ćemo ga da ispriča. Hvala. Hvala, Paola. Evo ga. Hvala vam svima da ste došli. I evo, prezentacija je malo dugače, onda ćemo početi. Na početak možemo izabrati jezik, jer nekomu smeta da ću pričat taki netočan hrvatski. Osim stranaca. Ok, imamo malo poljsku manjinu na tu opilici, ali ajde. Dobro, onda ću probati na hrvatskom, ako mi će biti malo teško, onda ću se prebaciti na engleski. I tako će to izgledat. Aha, prezentacija je na engleskom uglavnom. Sve je napisano na engleskom, ali mislim da je da kužite. I tako, brzo samo, brzo ću ispričat šta je EVS i šta je ovaj program koje sam imao aktivnosti tijekom ove godine. Kratko malo kako sam učio hrvatski i malo ću se zahvalivati tu ljudima. Ajde. Prvo, what is EVS? Šta je ovo? EVS je Evropska volonterska služba. To je program u sklopu programu Erasmus Plus, zahvaljujući kojem svaka mlada osoba u Europi između 17 i 30 godina može ići volontirat u inozemstvo, što je 100% fundirano preko evropskih fondova. Ima kratkih projekta od projekata od dva tjedna do dva mjeseca i dugoročnih od dva do dvanest mjeseca. Ja sam bio na takvim najdužim na godinu dana. Došao sam prošle godine u prvog, drugog prošle godine. I ajde. I što je jako lijepo u ovom programu, da sve je fundirano preko evropskih fondova i sve što vas može smetati. Znači, da li imaću novaca za tamo doći ili tamo se novaca da mu se održati svoj život, to je sve fondovano preko evropskih fondova i tako i neki džeparac ili hrana, smješta i sve je fondirano preko projekta i onda ova kiša, kiša novaca na vas pada i ne morate se brinuti za ništa. I onda možete jako lako proći do svojih aktivnosti kojih ako imate sreće kao ja i dođi to tako dobro u drugu, onda ima ih dosta. Prvi, kako se kaže, prvi tip ovih aktivnosti koje sam imao su bile radionice za djecu, kojih sam držao osam, znači deset radinica za djecu u osam različitih tema, kao Spring Alive koji je projekt o popularizacije znanosti o migraciji, o proljetnoj migraciji ptica, ili gradnje hotela za kukaca, ili klinovi kljuca i različite različite ove radionice, uglavnom o ekologiji ptica, ali uvijek ali isto kukaca ili ili gradnje različitih ovih 
alat. I tako to izgledalo, bilo sam malo vrijedan i smo, uglavnom, većina ovih radinica održali smo u centru mladih Ripnjak u Zagrebu, ali isto imali smo jednu na Učki gdje smo imali otvoreni dan presunovanja ptica, što nije bilo uvijek lako, jer jer ptica, ptice su ok, ali djeca, no, vidjet ćemo, uskoro. I tako, već na mojeg IVS-a su bili tereni, kojih je bilo jako puno ove godine, i jako intensivno u različitim u različitim lokacijama, ali uglavnom u temi ornitologije i ptica. Ili bilo jako puno... Hello. Hello. Welcome. Yes, yes. Do you speak Croatian or...? Okay. Great. So all my plan now, okay, so we're changing smoothly to, to English. <laughs> uh, welcome. Um, okay, so uh, I was just saying that uh, uh, one of my huge part of my, of my project w were field work, was field work. And I, w I was going during this week to many, many uh, locations for uh, uh, part of many in interesting projects. Uh, and gain a lot of experience in ornithological research. Uh, from this, what I, I think it's a really nice underline uh, um, uh, woodpecker, sandbirds, and owl monitoring, which was uh, done in Pitvička Jezera National Park, which is really amazing to go there seven times in a year. And, <laughs> and, uh, and of course, uh, swift ringing with, with Sven, which was really amazing opportunity to to go to end of world on the island and sleep in the cave and and have five birds in the hand at the end and and I underlined of a beater issue which was my a part of my personal project project during during the, this year um, and now I will I will tell a bit more about some of this of these projects which were taking most of the big biggest amount of days uh, during during my stay in Bion. Uh, first is my one of my favorite favorite topics. I'm not my favorite because it's awful, but uh, of poaching. And but we are we are doing uh, in Biom anti poaching action, uh, led led by our our chief here Ivana Sharić, uh, which is here on the and uh, uh, this year we uh, Biom started uh, uh, camps against against. Uh, uh, bird slaughtering about uh, uh, against uh, poaching, and we twice we went to uh, uh, Neretva Delta uh, region, and we were uh, destroying uh, poaching sites in the in two uh, ornithological, ornithological reserves, and also monitoring the uh, poaching in the uh, uh, in this region. Uh, from my responsibilities there, I was ma mainly responsible for some small logistic stuff like finding, finding uh, uh, accommodation or making food. Uh, but still, it was amazing to to co cooperate with all those people and help help uh, in this uh, amazing project. And uh, sp spent an overall 16 days and it was really nice. And I could uh, learn a lot about uh, anti poaching methods in uh, in field uh, next uh, project which was a bit a bit before it was in uh, two weeks in june spent in uchka uh, uh, for habitat restoration camp uh, it's also a bit different different world now because we are taking uh, care of meadows in uh, nature park uchka um, and this all most of this grass you can see now it's thanks to this amazing project and uh, that we com come every year firstly uh, uh, cut, cut grass and prepare a camp with Tomislav because Tom Tomislav here is really really important because he, he, he knows ABC of Uchka so if you want to 
to uh, make camp there you have to first go to Tomislav and ask him everything about how to do it and then you can go there otherwise it will not work and he knows everything and, and it was really nice to to spend his first two, day, two days on well, first week there with him because he really knows how to do everything there like step by step so it's, it was really amazing and then we came to work with volunteers i was responsible for managing belgian for belgian scouts which were our uh, volunteers F 14 of them came to help us with uh, with work they were uh, really nice Com uh, mostly speaking uh, french but still very communicative and uh, and great workers which uh, helped us a lot because uh, during the day it's really hot there in uh, in uh, in, Ju in july so we can work only four hours per day, two on the on mor at morning and at morning and two at evening. So, uh, but we still managed with also with uh, with matezets to clean a lot of lot of meadow and uh, a lot of uh, bushes and uh, may help the meadow to to spread and prepare and also uh, prepare uh, this t terrain for next project and for my next activity which was ornithologi ornithological camp Uchka. Uh, I spent there like overall one month, uh, 30, 27 days on Uchka. It was one also really amazing project for uh, in, uh, in led by Biome in, in, this, in this area. Um, ornithological camp is something you can uh, uh, firstly, f first, first uh, mm, Days first week of this camp was also from my part. I was responsible for responsible for coordinating uh, French scouts this time, also French speaking uh, country, uh, which were all really amazing. And they they, they were f having their own own this scout camp, but also helping us with this habitat restoration stuff. And we were just cleaning a bit more after after July and preparing some some paths for for uh, uh, next day for further days in ornithological camp and uh, if any one of you were in to Uchka you know that it's amazing opportunity to learn about birds actually everything uh, because uh, girls actually more Bill and I and Eva uh, prepared really something like birding academy you can go to uh, uh, there and learn about birds, how to, about bird ringing, how to how to take take them out from the net, how uh, and how to measure them, how to uh, how to read from from feathers from uh, and take all measures like length, uh, read how the what what's their age, what's their uh, uh, what's their sex, what's their uh, 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 fat score and if they have any uh, diseases and in in uh, so much time spent there I, I think I lot learned really a lot about uh, about not only managing ornithological camp but also about about birding uh, overall and we had also really a lot of uh, common birds and a lot of some nice uh, nice more r rare to see in the field, birds like hoffinches, uh, spotted flycatchers, uh, red-breasted flycatcher, and uh, really rare on Uchka, uh, blue throat, mother volka. Uh, so it was really, really great to to to, to uh, bo boost up in the in this uh, ornithological knowledge. Another activity I would like to say about it's winter uh, issue. Uh, it's my. It's uh, also special for me because I, it was part of my individual individual project. Uh, as probably part of most of you know, beaters has had this year like a bit of tough time in in, in not only in Croatia but uh, because uh, the population growth uh, grows and uh, but they feed mostly on. <coughs> On bees, or they feed on bees, not more, but, and uh, it's, it creates a, a conflict between people and uh, and nature. What uh, can 
uh, next like, uh, consequence people can even attack and destroy uh, uh, their nest which is uh, really uh, really simple because they nest in the ground and uh, people can just come at night put the rock in the in the hole and and uh, and it causes death of of bird uh, so uh, this year Biom started cooperation with with uh, a beekeeper uh, society in Sin uh, we to try to find some solution how to uh, for for this for this issue so um, this year I had the opportunity to go with our friend from Sin Ante Kojiman uh, cheers uh, to go to field and uh, research a bit more about their habitats in this field to to put, uh, collect p pellets which are this rest of of uh, they pray they they give back to the nature and we collect them and uh, and uh, and we will will uh, analyze them and and prepare results uh, to. Uh, present them to the to the uh, beekeeper soci society in in Sin. Uh, from my from my uh, initi initiative, I also prepared uh, in Croatian um, a leaflet about about the ecology and how to how to uh, we can uh, s uh, protect our uh, this uh, bird, uh, beehives. And uh, also, what's imp important from for now uh, from from the research, I was. I was doing and kind of reading literature. There is no, uh, like, beaters don't do not significantly uh, impact the beehives, so they c are not really so so uh, dangerous for for bees in the bees population. Uh, and last uh, last activity from fieldwork I would like to talk about is uh, bird ID, which was done mostly in my free time, uh, but was really. Mm, Really intensive program of uh, of uh, bird identification. I went to 16 t trip days in different uh, locations, in different habitats, uh, in uh, lo local accumulation in Blato, in Maximir, which is uh, uh, forest park, uh, some fish ponds, and and mount mountains in Risniak and Pag, and all, all these amazing places. Which, which I had uh, opportunity to learn a lot about birds and uh, their ecology, how to recognize them in the by sound and by uh, uh, seeing them on the on the field, and it it was really successful. At the end, I, I passed the exam uh, on the the website because it's organized in the cooperation in cooperation with um, uh, University North from from Norway. Uh, and uh, I passed their, their official exam on a uh, level which um, allows me to be trainer next year, which uh, I hope to be. <laughs> uh, uh, from my activity, and like I just uh, in all this stu stuff which I mentioned before, I was rep responsible for volunteers coordination, but also I was coordinating volunteers on. Uh, other events like some stands, Standovi, on uh, some events like Interliber or uh, World Bird Migration Day, uh, and now I'm uh, coordinating. Uh, I coordinate winter bird feeding uh, projects. Uh, you're welcome to participate, of course. And uh, that's how it looks at the end. Uh, like if we co structure this day, my days, I. I didn't put uh, on this year, but it's uh, 120 days uh, spent in the field, uh, mostly in Uchka and on Bert uh, ID and uh, in Redfa. It was really, really amazing time, and uh, that is how how it looks on in calendar. If you go like it goes like this, so if you we, you can imagine if we start in March in March, during till October. November you sti are still busy always in the field, so it's, it was quite hard to catch me in Zagreb because constantly was something was was happening. If you add some personal trips, you at the end of the year you're done with traveling for for a long time. Uh, and how it how it looks like on the map, I I managed to 
to see most of the country, which is really amazing. And uh, uh, still, there's one 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 point where I'm going tomorrow for rap, but it's uh, and it's really amazing to 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 see all this uh, all these places and all these national nature parks uh, and uh, see really really a lot of a lot of Croatia. Still, there's a bit of sites I would like to see, and I haven't been like uh, to like <laughs> like Kirka or all Istria with the Lim and Pap or Papuk or those all those islands uh, it's uh, but I think it's still time for it and uh, and when we finish with with the fieldwork we have to go back to the office and, <laughs> and work when we have we are responsible for unburdening our colleagues from their work uh, which is really nice to do because I'm really like helping so uh, preparing some stuff for uh, for field work um, mail management so writing uh, uh, some envelopes uh, and uh, and some field work Log logistic I had, had said before about this uh, uh, accommodation and stuff preparing some documents, scanning and printing, it's uh, always nice. And writing articles, this year I r wrote uh, four articles, uh, to, uh, three to a website and one to our uh, magazine. It's also about my EVS experience in India. And that's it with my activities. Uh, I have as activities in, uh, in uh, Biom, I can uh, just briefly say about my uh, learning of Croatian language. Uh, uh, it was surprisingly, um, it was a really big surprise I could g get a, a Polish uh, teacher from uh, in, in Beyond because it's, it was really, really, really uh, intensive and really fast learning of, of Croatian. Uh, I started in the, at the end of February and we, were, we had lessons till the end of out the middle of June, and I actually I was already able to, to speak speak uh, a bit and understand much 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 more than I uh, than I came here, and now I can more or less fluently speak with with my colleagues in Croatian. Uh, and here, just remi uh, reminder of that that I can still I uh, still do a lot of do a lot of mistakes. So some of them are hilarious or or <laughs> or just. Uh, terrible because there is a lot of a lot of uh, these false friends and uh, it, it means the, mm, uh, the words which sound the same but means that completely different stuff in in uh, in our languages and it's just some soft examples there's much more which is are quite hardcore but uh, <laughs> Uh, but uh, yeah, it's, but it uh, uh, really re learns a lot of humil humility to to just if your language even is so so similar to to your own, just to stop and a ask for every stupid word if it's, if it really means what you what you think, <laughs> because yesterday. I know, you know, I just tell you now in, uh, that in, in Polish to shrink, to shrink means, uh, uh, we say skurczyć <laughs> się. <laughs> and w yesterday when I heard this, this word for the first time, I was really thankful I didn't make this mistake any <laughs> before, because it could be quite significant. <laughs> And thanks. My favorite is Croatia, actually, which means the treatment in Polish. And it's a very funny word for. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and as my teacher spoke, uh, thanks to, to her, it was really a uh, lot of work, tears on my writing, oh. on my writing <laughs> skills, and, uh, and but I really managed to learn a lot thanks to, thanks to uh, Patricia from Udruga Oaza. Really great job, and uh, at the end I would like just su sum up what I what I learned uh, during this year in Biom uh, from soft skills. I think I, I hope I, I, I uh, uh, imp improved my communication skills. I learned a new language, Cro or Croatian language, where I didn't speak at all b before I came. 
Uh, I adopted a new new culture, which is a bit a really similar to Polish, but still there's a lot of differences, which is needs some flexibility to 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 uh, adapt and um, and a lo lot of stuff. Uh, and I think I can underline at the end this creativity with. Uh, uh, envisioning new projects, like when I came, I had some pro like ideas for projects uh, which I would like to do in 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 Beyond. But during this, uh, thanks thanks to God, uh, my supervisor stopped me to do this, <laughs> and and uh, I think I gained some experience to 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 have new new ideas and better than than it there was before I came, and some hard skills. A lot of uh, skills which are in uh, uh, ontological uh, skills and ring, uh, ringing cam maintenance and ringing um, bird monitoring methods, bird identification, uh, anti poaching methods, as, as I mentioned before, a bit, a bit, uh, just a little bit of botanics, uh, which I still <laughs> don't know so it's a, anything, but I think a, a bit more than I. Than, than it was before, and uh, a lot, a lot of driving experience. I think, mm -hmm. as I counted uh, this year, I, I made like abs abs uh, approximately twelve thousand kilometers, which was, which was a lot. And uh, and that's it. For us. Uh, I, I went to a lot of lot of uh, really nice nice places around country, and it was. Uh, much more of those small projects, which was, which were all of them were really, really amazing. Um, uh, there's no no time for. Oh, it's quite fast. <laughs> uh, to to mention all of them, but um, and put all of those those photos from from them, but. Um, uh, it was really, really building experience to see all those amazing, uh, ama amazing uh, places. Go to this uh, for for this field work in different, sometimes sometimes very difficult uh, projects with difficult issues, and see that it's something really worth to do and something um, really to to spend so so much time on to. to uh, which gives really a lot of satisfaction. Uh, okay, and uh, now I would like to thank a lot of people <laughs> uh, from Beyond, <laughs> actually all, all of them, uh, one by one, uh, <laughs> uh, to all Beyond team, but firstly to to, uh, to Budinski, it's Ivan Budinski if you don't see, it's his typical face when he sounds uh, here's a uh, bird, but he cannot recognize. <laughs> and <laughs> and here's Bilia and Eva ignore ignore him. <laughs> uh, it's if everyone if anyone worked at least once with with Budinsky, they know that it's it's his some type of genius, and he l l knows a lot of about about birds and about nature con conservation many in many fields. In uh, botanics, in, in forestry, probably in much more, and he's this Indiana Jones of 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 Beyond, I would say. And to Matezet, which was really always really amazing to to so, uh, to go with him to field work and have really nice time because always fun and hilarious. To Tomisla, which is uh, you know you know walking dictionary and walking uh, knowledge, you know, and also many fields like. Vedran said he knows everything about life. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to Petra, which uh, always helped me with my creation and with my writing and uh, also uh, in the field with birds. Uh, to Kojo, which was had an amazing time in scene and to Zdravk also for some uh, time in Uczka and to Sven for this, this <laughs> photo from, from, uh, from Telaszczica. And uh, uh, for for always amazing field work, and if you feel you you're you want to go for some really um, challenging field work, ask Sven if he has free free slot because 
I never, I never, I will never forget standing with bare feet on like sharp like knife rocks. It's <laughs> always really, <laughs> really nice. To Ivana Slanet, which uh, is uh, one of the most organized people I ever met, and it's. Uh <laughs> 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 and it's really, really, really nice to to be guests in in, in scene because it's. It's always heartwarming. Uh, to Bilia and to, to Milos for, for all this time and fieldwork. I think most time we spent together in the, in the, in the field. Uh, to Ivana Sharic for all this uh, being chi uh, chief on the, on the anti politic actions and also uh, taking care of me on the, be on the beginning of the project when we could uh, cooperate a bit uh, slightly, but still it was really nice. And uh, to my supervisor Paola for a lot of it's from it's from uh, Spring Alive we were together to Medveshchak uh, for uh, coordinating this project and for put a lot of effort to writing it and and managing uh, during its duration uh, to Gligor for coming. <laughs> And for uh, amazing work on uh, uh, our Bozhichny Dominak, and it was <laughs> we didn't we have um, had mat, uh, didn't have much uh, cooperation with Ziga, but it was also always really nice to to have you around and to <laughs> to Mila, <laughs> which is doing this right now, and so for this all this work, which simplifies work of all of us in Vion and to Vedran uh, for for being also always this good energizer in Vion reminder this <laughs> there is a call is coming <laughs> and to Jelka for being an ama amazing manager at uh, the end Kresho <laughs> for uh, running this amazing orga organization and actually creating it and being this <laughs> Leon Leonidas of of uh, <laughs> of uh, creation biology and nature conversation conservation and and at the end to to Eva which was uh, really supporting me and really um, being my or mentor in uh, lear learning birds and uh, learning also creation and everything about here. Thank you. <laughs> uh, questions? Pytania, może ona chrywatką? A nie, może. Koja była mi ka, e, najwyższa razlika z medzi kulturą polską i chorwacką? E, to jest ciężko pytanie, ja nie znam. Jer polska i chorwacka kultura dla mnie są jako sliczne. Najwyższa razlika jest, myślę, jest słońce, jako jakie to płyno, i myślę, to utieca, nie wiem jak. E, może to nie, nie wierować, ale myślę, e, Koja była mi najwyższa razlika z medzi chorwackiego i polskiego? Kultura polska i chorwacka. Czyli taka kultura ważna jest mała. To jest ciężko pytanie, ja nie znam. Polska i chorwacka kultura są jakoś Ba, Nie znam, i polska i chorwacka są katolickie dyrżawe. Gdzie wieczna ludzie są w katolicy i myślę, że to im się to ucieca. Może to nie wierować, ale... Najwyższa razlika jest między kulturą polską i chorwacką. Tak, kultura ważna jest. To jest ciężko pytanie, ja nie znam. Polska i chorwacka kultura są dobliczne. Nie znam, i polska i chorwacka są katolickie. Patrycja, ale ty znasz? Naravno, da znam kawa. A kawa, da. I 
izlazak u kafiće u svako doba dana, u 10, 11, 12, svi normalni ljudi svugdje na svijetu rade. Ja ne znam jer ja sam bio na terenu, onda ne, ne znam. <laughs> Ali, a, još mi, aha, u Poljskoj kad ulaziš u pekaru ne moraš znati odmah to što želiš. A, a u Hrvatskoj odmah je što... <laughs> Domagaj, da. Da, da, znači to je, mm, aha, Domagoj pita o e, kako se napla, naplaćuje smještaj o, u sklopu... Da, je, 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 to ćemo proći na sam, na sam početak. Dimo rite. Sad imamo 70 slajdova, onda nije puno. E, već tumačim. E, o, evo. E, za, e, kad si volonter u sklopu Evropske volonterske službe, e, organizacija koja, koja pri, primuje ovaj, e, volontera, mora e, osigur, osigurat smješta i to je plaćeno preko, preko projekta i to nema, ja ne, ne, nisam morao ništa dodatno naplaćivat. E, I to je uvijek tako gdje god ne, ne ideš na neki projekt u sklopu IVS-a, to je plaćeno preko, preko projekta isto. Dobivaš, nova, do, dobivaš te parac e, i još organizacija ti osigurava hranu i i lokalni transport. A ove projekte koje ti, ti, ti si rekao o volontiranju negdje u SAD-u, a to je dobro drugačije, nisam nikad za to čuo i, i ne znam kako to je. I na različite načine su organizacije snalazi, dakle, nekim imaju više volontera koji dolazi, da ih nekih skupa, neki volonteri su studenci s domovima, nije volonteri na ih Mora se osigurati na bilo koji način. Da imamo sve više. Kako se sklada? Se sviđaš ono kad smo bili na Branskom jezu, tamo je već o Najgore. E, mislim, e, pa ne znam, mislim, s e, početka mi bilo ma- malo naporno, mislim, zbog m, tako da sam očekivao samo od sebe da odmah ću počet pričat hrvatski, od, od, odmah ću počet sve razumjeti, svi, s kim sam pričao da razumijem puno, a nisam razumijao pola, pola tega što se priča. E, a, I mislim, i mislim najteži uvijek mislim ja vježbat sa, sam za sobom i e, uvjeri sam sebe da, da ovaj rad za sobom je naj, e, naj, najvažniji u tome ne? jer onda uvijek je najgore da svi u redu pričaju hrvatski a ti, ništa, a ti razumiješ sve ali tri sekunde nakon toga ili e, ili ne znam da e, s početka imao sam mislim puno, puno vremena u uredu gdje nisam imao neki, nekih zadataka, ali nakon ne, nekoliko dana sam, Lako, sam već sam se našao neki na cursory ovaj, 
e, nešto za o šumarstvu i nešto i sam počeo to, to vježbati. Mislim, e, to je jako, to je važno pitanje za svih volontera jer to, to je jako e, važno pitanje kako ne, ne pušiti ovog vremena koji, se, koji imaš. U, da, cijeli Hrvatski koji znam uči u biomu, onda to je, to je, to je Ostavit ću ovo. Ili, ili ovo. Evo, da, Patricija. Jer to je pitanje. Znam da bit će to jako lijepa stvar. Ne znam, mislim, ostat ću tu. I to je, mislim, jako lijepo za sada. Planiram to ostati i živjeti. I planira tu svoju obitelj i to će biti mislim, najljepša stvar nakon mi vijesi. Mojeg i vijesi iskusu. Oh.